But the past few years, for Minecraft servers or YouTube SMPs, people have been using data packs a lot. Since they were introduced in 1.13, they have become a staple in the Minecraft community. But it seems like because of that, this little block has become a lot less popular. Command blocks used to be the way that people who ran servers or SMPs or UHCs would take care of all the extra operations like spawn proofing, teleporting, changing the way certain mobs behaved, and many other things. Today though, most people just use data packs that were created for those specific purposes or create their own data packs, but the command block is still a very useful item that is definitely a lot more simpler to use and for most younger Minecraft players or people who are like me and just dumb. Using a command block is so much easier and really requires basically no prior knowledge except for being able to decipher which commands actually work in whatever version of Minecraft you're playing. But there is an important thing that you cannot forget when using these blocks, something that I think a lot of people tend to forget. Usually you'll see these blocks placed down with a button attached or a pressure plate on top. It's fine to have these in multiplayer worlds because if a player is in survival mode, they cannot break this nor edit the command inside, so it's not really a big deal. But wait, there's more! What if I told you that you didn't have to do that? You can actually hide the block completely and not have the ugly texture of the command block sorry buddy, show and ruin the nice aesthetic of your multiplayer server. Let's say you put the command block down, and of course you gotta put the command in first. Now normally, if you put the button here, that would activate it and teleport me up. But let's say, instead of just putting the button down, you put a block over it and then place the button on top of that block. It does the exact same thing. And that's because the button here is actually technically a redstone component. And so the button itself is passing some sort of redstone, you know, command through this block and into the command block. I know to a lot of you, this seems like a super basic thing. And yes, I'm pointing out the obvious, but since everyone is so obsessed with data packs nowadays, new players might not really fully understand command blocks. And command blocks are actually something that is highly underrated nowadays because they're not something that you actually have to download. You can just give yourself a command block by doing this. Give me, and then I usually just go command block. And well, obviously I'm holding one in my hands. Let's uh, delete this here. Command block. There you go. You can also do this from the side as well. Just make a little thing here. So let's put this here and we'll grab the command from this one. Just copy this and paste it there. And you'll see that this actually also does that. But, you also don't need this button right here. You can send the signal sideways as well. And it still works. And basically you would never know that anything existed here because it's just a seamless, uh... You would never know anything ex ever existed here because it's a seamless structure that blends in with the natural surroundings. This can also work through blocks with pressure plates as well. And it's a much faster way to activate the command. Instead of hitting a button, you just walk and woo! Just an endless loop. Basically, if you don't want to press a button, you can just walk and it'll teleport you wherever you need to. And these are great for SMPs or multiplayer servers, anywhere you would need to have some sort of fast travel that would uh, require the use of command blocks, and it's super easy to get. And like I said before, you don't have to download anything. The command block is part of the game itself and much easier to get. And it does a lot of other different things. Um, this is this video is mainly just about the teleport function because it's really a good way to, let's say you need some sort of fast travel on an SMP or a multiplayer server with your friends. It's a good way to kind of get from different biomes or go from one person's base to another person's base or back to spawn. So there's many different ways to use this for your server. And you don't really need to go and download some sort of data pack that you never know, might have a virus or something. I mean, I'm not saying they all do, but I'm just saying, you know, you've got to be careful out there. You got you to gotta be careful what you download. I mean, that's it's kind of it's crazy. Uh, so if this video can make it, let's say, to 200 likes, basically the amount of subs I have right now, then I will do more videos about command blocks. If anyone is interested in more about command blocks, the unsung old hero of of, of, of Minecraft before data packs, the, the old legend, uh, I will do more command block videos. But please, please give me some 200 likes. But with all that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, click that like button. And if you want to see more, 
definitely subscribe. See you guys in the next video.